Hello and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to cover what we do when everything goes wrong or especially with a rendezvous. So I launched a space station here and it's in a perfect orbit around Kerbin and then we sent our spacecraft that was going to rendezvous with the space station and to be a little extreme I sent us on a 45 degree and a highly elliptical orbit around Kerbin to see worst case scenario. So yeah, how do we get to the space station now? Now I will admit uh, in the beginning here that I have activated the infinite fuel or I am going to activate it just for this tutorial because uh, we are going to use some fuel just to cover the basics here. But the first thing we want to do first is to align our orbits with the space stations. And we also want to get our ascending and descending nodes right. So this is usually best done farther out uh, and easiest to do at ascending and descending. But because we are such a far distance out here we can save some fuel by starting here at Apwaps. So the burn is going to be a directly 90 degrees uh, burn to push our orbit to be or our predicted orbit to be about flat with or equal to the orbit of the station. So we are going to use this to just uh, make some small adjustments and if you use mechanical jab it will be the normal to your heading you want to burn at but the maneuver nodes don't have that so you use a little bit extra fuel and get a pretty gr okay orbit there and we have 21 degrees left to count for so let's go to our maneuver node there and we are at our burn point already almost like I planned this whole thing out well I actually did so we are burning getting that velocity corrected and uh, in this tutorial it's being a little bit um, I guess extreme since I hope you don't get this, this elliptical uh, orbit as I do it will be pretty difficult without uh, cheating with infinite fuel or if you have a huge fuel reserve but you're wasting a lot of fuel doing this so this is good enough and we're going to bring this up to our ascending node where we are going to put this in or align these two orbits to be close to zero degrees difference so just making some small adjustments and planning everything with the maneuver nodes making the whole predictions a lot easier so 2% that's uh, now in the 90 degrees to where we are burning so we can't do anything better or we can do a little bit but we won't because 0 0.2 is more than good enough so we have 38 minutes to uh, get rid of or warp so let's just warp up to our maneuver node and after we have done this we're actually ready to or hopefully we will be ready to rendezvous with the space station so we'll just make some small changes up here and then you should probably be ready to or if we've done everything correctly it will hopefully be quite close to a rendezvous so taking that 30 seconds burn down and it, to, to be honest if you get uh, an as extreme uh, <laughs> as, as, as an extreme orbit as I did right now I would probably restart my launch and do everything one more time and try to get closer but to show you the basics of getting back uh, it is good to have this big elliptical orbit and you can really see what's going on. So our orbits are aligned 
by really 0.1 so even closer than predicted and we have targeted the space station so what I first want to do is lower our periaps down to the space station so you can see we get a closer intersection and they are on each side of Kerbin so that's not optimal yet but we will fix that so this is where uh, you usually probably will be if you get an elliptical orbit and this is also kind of how you do it if you come back from let's say the moon or Minmus and you want to get back to a space station orbiting around Kerbin. Now I would probably use aero braking for that but the principle I'm using right now is kind of the same. So that's uh, our orbit. So our periaps is at the space station's altitude and we can see that our apoapse is quite a lot higher. So we will bring our apoapse down but we will not take it all the way down because we want to use the velocity we have and the time it takes to go around the whole orbit to actually bring this orbit really close and you can see if you see right beneath my marker here now you can see that the intersect is getting really close so we can bring that to like uh, a couple of hundred meters so we don't need a maneuver node because this will be 100% retrograde and we want to see our intersect points so there we are let's go to our retrograde marker lock on and slowly reverse until we get the intersect marker closer to us so hopefully it will start getting closer about now as the oh there we there it goes okay so we had some small bug but we can take it probably one more orbit i think our apps is so high that we can take it one more orbit yes so it's coming back and this time it looks like no bug so we can bring it all the way to the intersect one and we want to bring this as close as possible so let's use the RCS here to make it there 2.5 kilometers that is pretty good for a whole orbit around Kerbin and back so let's take a look at this spacecraft it's just the same one as we used in the first uh, space station rendezvous mission or um, tutorial with a V formation solar panel so yeah back to the space station here is the space station we are just 500 kilometers away and we have the target velocity up now and the relative speed so we want to kill 300 meters per second so let's do that before we overshoot it and being just two point two kilometers away from the station we will be able to go for a direct burn to the space station at once once one we once we get to zero meters per second i apologize it seems my tongue is completely tied today being all tongue-tied but yes that's our space station just two kilometers away and just to be on the impatient side we go for 50 meters per second now I won't recommend going in at such a high velocity if you haven't practiced and gotten the hang of orbiting or rendezvousing with space stations and being able to predict when to burn it's usually a good idea to do it at a little slower paced pace and uh, getting the whole thing right because if you overshoot you will have to start all over again so you can see I'm slowly bringing it down and doing corrections so my uh, negative heading marker is straight for the negative heading marker of the space station since we are going backwards and 600 meters away and we are still having 18 meters per second coming in at ballistic speeds so let's bring this down 15 let's take it down to about 10 meters per second and that's pretty much our rendezvous 
Um, I'm not going to do a docking in this tutorial, but if people would like, I can dock these two spacecrafts in a short tutorial. Uh, if somebody just wants to see the docking procedure and not the whole rendezvous and intersect -sept, uh, procedures. But yeah, we are approaching the space station and we can park this straight right next to the space station. So let's kill the last velocity we have. And these two are now ready to be docked. Uh, as long as you don't crash into your station. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if there's any questions just uh, post them below and I will answer them as soon as I can. And uh, if you like the movie please like the movie. Uh, if there's anything else just ask. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter to see what I'm making, when I'm making and you can also send me ideas and stuff in the comments or by PMs. So, hope you guys enjoyed this and good luck on building your space stations. Wearing Storm, signing off.